last Marvel movie I've seen was The Avengers, and let's be honest, that was amazing. You know, that was every comic book fan's dream, to see all those characters on the big screen. $1.5 billion worldwide, and that's how much money Avengers made. That's one of the most successful films of all time. People love escapist fantasy. Marvel is modern myth-making of today. When I was growing up, I was the only guy for probably 500 miles who could tell you that Tony Stark was Iron Man. Now we all know it, and it's great. As recently as two or three years ago, we also lived under the fear that, oh my God, one bad superhero movie's gonna happen and the whole Hollywood industry is gonna give up and not do it anymore. That's not the case anymore. Now, seeing all these movies, it's sort of like a validation for comic books because the superhero now has arrived in movies and they're actually doing it very well. We've built up enough positive momentum, Marvel has built up enough positive momentum where I don't know what's gonna stop them. Les super-héros règnent aujourd'hui en maître sur Hollywood et la pop culture. Mais il n'y a pas si longtemps, au milieu des années 90, ils ont bien failli être emportés par la folie spéculative de Wall Street. En première ligne, la société Marvel Entertainment. Maison mère de Spider-Man, Iron Man ou encore Captain America, elle fut déclarée en faillite le 27 décembre 1996 avant d'être miraculeusement sauvée pour mieux renaître de ses cendres.